My name is Jen McCarroll. I am a parent and an art teacher here at the New School. I have taught art here for five years and I look forward to it every week. My name is Kareen Gabrini and I'm the grade 2-3 art teacher at the New School. The thing I like the most about teaching art is watching a child's inner light come through. One of the reasons I like to teach art here is because I feel like it's, um, the arts are needed for the young people as a um, forum for self-expression and communication. And I feel like they may have things they would like to communicate that they don't have words for yet. And I feel like art is a very great way to communicate your feelings and express yourself in a way that maybe you can't do in, in a conversation with somebody. With Pablo Picasso, we looked at examples from all of the different periods. And then we did a simple breakdown of one of his kind of projects. We made these dogs, very simple, and um, where we made an eye and we made a tail and we made some legs, except we didn't make them the way normally we draw. There was a freedom that each child felt at some point in the process when they started connecting the tail with the eyeball, for example, and realized they could create something really cool. Another artist we talked about this year, which was a really fun artist to explore, was Amadeo Modigliani. And we um, drew self-portraits using his artwork as inspiration. And the way we did that was we made a grid on a piece of paper, and the head had to take out up the first two squares of the grid. And the net took up the entire third square of the grid and then the torso was the bottom half of the, the grid. And then from there they filled in the details and tried to um, mimic some of Modigliani's well-known uh, characteristics like the almond eyes and, and the, um, out, the black outline features. Jackson Pollock is a great example of one of the ways that we express ourselves in our artwork. When we talk about Jackson Pollock and his life, and then we listen to music and we express ourselves and put all of our feelings down through splattering and dribbling and dropping and throwing paints on the canvas. And this is a lesson that the kids look forward to every year. And it's one that I repeat every year because they ask for it on the first day of class. So we do it every year.